My name's Ward Hyde. I'm the inventor of the Iconoclast Equine support boot. Today I'd like to help you to understand the function of the Iconoclast boot, why we developed it, and what its actual purpose is, providing beneficial support and protection to the equine leg. In order to provide support for the equine leg, we must protect the sesamoidal region. And in order to do that, we need to be able to wrap or cradle the sesamoidal region and lift it and support it during its motion in order to provide beneficial support. If we don't do that, what happens is we run a risk of hyperextension or overextension. Overextension, hyperextension is a result of extremes. Today's performance measures ask us to go to extremes in order to be competitive with our horses. So in those events of extreme, we run the risk of soft tissue damage. So it becomes more crucial for us to do something to benefit that horse while he's in motion. The Iconoclast boot is the only boot that can provide support to that area because of the design that we laid out for that thing and the objective that we tried to achieve in order to give beneficial support. So if we use any other thing, whether it be a leg wrap or whether it be another boot, a splint boot as they're sold on the market, a splint boot is a great product but it only provides side impact protection. The Iconoclast boot is made so that it goes lower on the horse's leg to wrap and cover the sesamoidal region or the fetlock of the horse so that we can give it support and most importantly beneficial support so that that tissue doesn't run the risk of injury or at least we can abate it to a large degree so that we don't have those sorts of damages. The other thing that the Iconoclast can do for horses that have had those injuries is to help them to recover from injuries by supporting that soft tissue, again, any of the damaged areas, so that it can move in a proper form and still come back from recovery, reducing the amount of scar tissue that'll form. To help you folks to understand a little bit about what's going on in the horse's leg, I'll use this model to, to, give, you, to give you a short in, or a brief insight. The soft tissue of the horse's leg starts just below the knee and moves down through the leg, across the fetlock, and into the foot. It's the same anatomy on the front leg and the hind leg. So below the hock or below the knee, it's essentially all the same uh, soft tissue. The soft tissue that we're trying to protect here are the suspensory ligaments, deep digital flexor tendons, superficial flexor tendons, uh, extensor tendons running down the front of the leg. Um, the soft tissue that, that goes below the fetlock, uh, deep digital flexor tendons again as they tie into the base of the foot and superficial uh, or extensor tendons as they come across the front of the, the horse's leg. And the suspensories that actually branch out at the fetlock and go down either side of the pastern. Now those soft tissues are something that we've never been able to support before because the, the products that have been offered to us have been uh, not designed to reach down to those limits of the uh, sesamoidal region. So what it, we did with the Iconoclast boot was we, we rethought that whole issue and, and looked at this thing in a way that, we, that I really thought, how can I get to a place where I can support that soft tissue and, and avoid hyperextension or those extensive injuries that have been plaguing the horse uh, industry for so long? And um, the way to do that was to extend the material down there. So what we're doing is we're taking a uh, material that's essentially uh, an elastic material that we're wrapping around the fetlock or the sesamoidal region and by virtue of the double sling straps we're bringing a strap around one side of this fetlock at the base. We'll take one strap, come around here and attach this thing at 45 degrees lifting and cradling the soft tissue. We'll then take the second strap at the base of the boot and bring it the opposite direction around the base of the fetlock and attach it at 45 degrees. What that does for us is it lifts and cradles the sesamoidal region of this horse. And so when this horse strides out, we know that the fetlock depresses with each step. In order for us to protect that thing, we have to have some sort of elastic material that can benefit that horse during extension, not inhibit motion, but only lend support. So by the use of the double sling strap, we know that we can support that fetlock as it depresses towards the ground. And if the horse hits uneven ground, we have collateral ligaments that attach to the uh, bony structure, bony column of the pastern. So we know that we can stabilize that as well. The thing that I want you to understand as well 
is that in order to do that, the boot itself, the Iconoclast boot, has got to work with every single step that horse takes. So every time that fetlock depresses, the material in that boot has to stretch in order to support and stabilize the soft tissue. So the boot's not just hanging on the horse's leg as an ornament. It's not a fashion statement. It's a working, functioning piece of material or equipment that you'll buy to put on your horse to protect him, preserve him, and support him during every stride that he takes, no matter what you're doing. What it really boils down to is that I want people to understand that the Iconoclast boot actually has a purpose and it has a job to do as it's attached to the horse's leg. So with every function, with every movement, it's providing support and protection from extensive injury to the soft tissue. So folks, if you have any questions or concerns that you'd like to share or, or, or like to visit about, feel free to contact us at westernlegacysales.com. We always look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.